Okay, so this is the modular Pi camera. This is the Pi Zero version. Um, I have like a new design in mind. I've ordered parts for it, but it revolves around making the uh, camera modules easy to swap out. Uh, this is the wide angle V3, and this is the V2. I'm just showing that I had two, you know, different cameras, camera modules, and I printed like two different plates and they're detachable, but it still takes effort to do that. Like you have to use a screwdriver. So the ideal way is you just, it's still a manual process because you have to disconnect the ribbon cable, possibly turn the camera off too, just to be safe. So that part is not ideal. Um, ideally you would design like a custom PCB with pogo pins, but I don't have that skill right now. But yeah, so this is the current one. And I'm out here today to test the dynamic autofocus that I programmed into the interface. Snap! Okay, so this is the HQ camera, has the detachable lens. This is the eight to 50 millimeter. This is nice because you can zoom. The other ones are fixed. Uh, and then this is the V3 module, which doesn't have detachable lens, but it has motorized electronic focusing, which is cool. Um, yeah, and then the other thing is they're, the backs, uh, this is like an OLED, this is an LCD. They're, bo <laughs> they're both dim, like, granted this is orange, but even so, it's hard to even see it. Like, if I don't have my sunglasses on, or, yeah. This is a little better to read, but yeah. I don't know how well that's visible. Like, they're both pretty much black. <laughs> anyway, I'm out here to compare them. I have a, an ND filter for this, because I think this lens um, does not do well when it's very bright out. Like, the images are purple for some reason. Purple uh, tint. Uh, and today is not really a great day to shoot, because, like, everything's dead. This isn't really a scenic place, so. But I'm out here and it's a nice day, no clouds. Um, I'm gonna go through all the lenses and then I'll be able to compare them. This has a short battery life, like two hours, because the battery inside is only 720 milliamp hour. But it's really cool, like it's a light form factor versus this one, this one's heavy. Mostly because of the lens. But yeah, also uh, try to showcase the uh i don't think you can see it at all honestly maybe has to focus on this and then be in the shade you can see the af and you go up this is a diopter this means like uh, one over four meter, one over five meter. So it gets, uh, the focusing is closer and closer. Like one over 10 means 10 centimeters. Then it loops around to, in, uh, let's see, what is it? F0 is infinity, uh, infinite focus. And this is autofocus, so it'll focus on whatever. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do that, take some photos. I already took the mic off, but the nice thing with this camera is you can just like do that and take a picture. The other one you have to like dial it in, check the zoom. So this is like a nice, you know, easy point and shoot type. Okay, so I just want to show the uh, focus. So the files, 
they have a zero, one, two, three, four. It's appended. For some reason, the Pizuri's Q cams. Well, I guess I turned them on and off, but yeah, the time is not consistent, unfortunately. That's a later video issue. But anyway, you look at it. This is like F0, so that's infinity. You can also see the distortion here, like stuff that's really close to the screen is like curved. It could be the stick, but I'm pretty sure that's the, <laughs> the lens. But uh, anyway, important thing is I was looking at this and uh, also like stuff in the background, foreground, uh, F0. So we're gonna go increase that which increasing the number means the focus area is like narrower and narrower like it's towards macro so that's the one over one like that's uh they said like one to three meters so like up to 10 feet is in focus i can just see it like start to get really blurry I'm also like, this is not on a tripod, I'm like shifting around, so that, that's not great, but I was standing up when I took these shots. But yeah, so this is me like advancing that F number on the screen. F8, F9, F10. Uh, and I'll pull up a image of what, like, okay, so here, this is an F10. Uh, this is not to be confused with aperture. I just mean focus But yeah, so you can see here like this is really in focus pretty sharp and then like the background Is softer So that's nice. This photo is taken with the v3 wide module same as these <sighs> Let's get some b-roll Swap lenses Actually, I forgot. The other reason this one is heavy is because it has a 18650 cell in it, which has like a 3,400 million capacity. It's like since the uh, things don't have like a way to tell, I have this paper. <laughs> I'll take a picture of it. That thing is a lot of these images will probably not even come out because uh, my code sucks. All right. Let's see. 